Fam, I'm back in the building again. Moved to another location. Just seems that this location, outside on the back porch, is just <laughs> has just an amazing, a, a great reception. I wish I, I wish I had enough light where I could like walk out here and sit down. Yeah, the further I walk, that that light is not, the lighting isn't that great, that that far away. So check it. I'm gonna just chill right here as usual with the uh, with the flags. So I had a couple of um, thanks for joining. If you are just coming in, this is like part two, Coach Kair. Uh, we're talking about karma. We're talking about cosmic contracts. I hear you, Adrian. Adrian said, stay in the light. All right, Miss Trinity. Um, and, but you know, look at the shadow was putting on my face, like, from the phone. Oh, I got to hold it like that. Okay. So, um, we're talking about cosmic contracts. We're talking about karma. And the last scope was, like, three things that you can do to increase the good karma or the positive karma in your life doing a Mercury retrograde. What's up, King and the Razor? I need everybody to share. We got to go through this again. I need everybody to share this with their followers. You got to share this on Twitter because some people won't be able to, like, keep it, you know, keep up with us because we're moving around. Also, please, you know what I'm saying, tap the screen if we got a good reception. If it's choppy and going in and out, then please, you know, let me know and type in there, you know, pat out, you know, it's going in and out or it's choppy. The first thing that, hey, Leslie, in Toronto, the first thing that you can do to keep, create great karma during a Mercury retrograde is to take your free will and follow directions. Oh, she called me baby. You know, I like that. Hi. Anyway, stay focused, Kai here. Excuse me. The first thing you can do is take your free will and choose to do the right thing and follow instructions. You know, you know when you're being disagreed. You know when you're being disagreeable to. You know when you're being disagreeable to right use of will. You what's up, seeking for peace for all. You know what's up. Um, you know when you are being going against universal law. You know that. You already know when you're going against universal law, and then you do it anyway. For nine days, that's one thing that you can do. So that means just go, just, just go all the way for like 23 days or 21 days. We'd be fasting with food, and we'd be fasting from doing different things. But when can we just like stop doing the things that we know that's not good for our soul for 21 days? Right? All right. Then the next thing that the second thing was be radically honest when even when it hurts. Right. And then everybody was asking, Well, hurt who? Hurt me? Hurt somebody else? When? What are you what are you uh, what are you talking about? It doesn't matter. It's just when it hurts, when you feel like I shouldn't tell the truth because um somebody's feelings or me, I hurt somebody's feelings and stuff like that. Man, you gotta get past all these what you think is morally correct or morally incorrect in life you know that stuff is is hazardous to your health straight up it's hazardous to your health it doesn't you're not gonna win like that by always thinking that these rules that you got on planet earth a lot of these rules are, don't have anything to do with you and like your and your car and, and your destiny see the karma is trying to keep you and inspire you to fulfill your destiny hey Sharice. I know I always got to wait like three or four minutes before I start building. I'm just recapping on the two things that I already covered in the last scope. So everybody who just got on, do y'all hear that? Yeah, Seeking Me 97, what's happening? Can y'all still share? Y'all have to come to this backyard of mine. Like, I didn't touch that. Like, I could, I would have to like lean back, but I wasn't leaning back. That, that went by itself. But in my backyard, like, the wind just picked up, which to me, that's spirit. Because, like, I can hear, like, they let me know. It's like indicators because I can hear when, like, the when all the breeze, like, when the leaves 
start to touch one another and and like you can hear when a breeze flows through so i love it when spirit is moving in my backyard yo a cookout is coming soon i gotta hear up and have one before um before it gets uh before it gets too cold this is my grill right here give y'all a shot and it is a kingsford Yep, she is thorough. I put I had some lamb on her last night. I don't know. Well, maybe not the best shot, but she gets down. But uh, yeah, I want to fire this up. So you all want to do a like? Can we do a Periscope um, cookout over at Coach Kyrie's house in Atlanta? Who's with that program? Yeah, before it get too cold, cause if it get too cold, I ain't gonna be with that program. Y'all probably won't either. So the third thing that you can do to increase and get you some good karma doing a Mercury retrograde, you're going to come from Houston. You're going to fly in to the cookout. The third thing that you can do to increase your karma is pay it forward. Pay some things forward, yo. I, why you think why why you say I seem like a New Yorker? I'm in the New York, but it's too damn cold up there. I can only do New York for like 72 hours, and I'm back. I got a lot of friends in New York, probably a lot of influence, and I grew up on hip hop, New York East Coast hip hop. Then some down south, but definitely a lot of New York hip hop. But um, paying it forward. Oh man. On the grill, it's gonna be it's gonna be bananas, turkey burgers, chicken, lamb. That's gonna be crazy. Veggies, onions, green peppers, spices. Uh, y'all don't know, but anyway, it's really um, it's like really important to pay it forward because good deeds. A lot of people are like restrictive and holding back during a mercury retrograde because that's how they normally are remember in mercury retrograde you get an opportunity to do something new you get some things revealed to you that are going to like help bring out a new part of who you are so that third thing is pay it forward do something for somebody where you can pay it forward <clears throat> and the energy is like on a higher level versus um No, we're taught that if we believe that that is that, that that's a lie on both ends. It's not hard for women to tell. It's not hard for women to tell the truth. And. Yeah, women do lie to be safe because they know that men are violent creatures. But men be on some bullshit sometimes with that violence. So. That is. That is that is. That whole thing about lying to men because they can't handle the truth, that that's like from generations, man. But we the generation that has to do something different than what we've been doing. Like we have to, that's why I'm saying with the radical honesty, yo, like we have to change this shit around. Totally. And the women got to go first because the women was the ones that started softening the men up. Then they started damn telling the lies so they could get what they want because women are better manipulators. So not just about being safe. When you are safe, you are manipulating. So once you man, once you um, manipulate the um, once you manipulate the kings that are around you, then you turn them into court gestures. Then you stuck with a bunch of court gestures and you like where all the men at. All the men is everywhere, but you don't get to attract one because you're a manipulator. Now you done ran all of them out of your life because of your karma and you getting what you deserve. And then you over here mad because why can't I, you know what I'm saying? Why can't I get no good man? You done emasculated the good ones. You done deceived and manipulated them. And then that, and, and then you lied to them because you didn't give them an opportunity to grow. A lot of women don't give men an opportunity to grow by giving them the truth. Same thing for men. You got to give a woman the truth so she can grow. But so many women, men, I'm just now being radically honest, so many men are some chronic squares scared that they ain't going to get no pussy. 
they rule by pussy. Well, a woman say, I ain't going to give you no pussy. And that nigga, he just, oh, my God, I better do what she says because if I don't, she's going to withhold the pussy. So you got, you know, those two things. And then, just like Cosmic Map taught me last, two weeks ago, if a woman is withholding the pussy, she didn't want to fuck anyway. Voila. So, I don't know, that's just a drop. That's just a dime drop off the gate. So don't, ne guys, never fall for the, I'm going to withhold the pussy, um syndrome because the ladies if the lady really wants to fuck she gonna fuck so don't 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 fall for all the other shit all right now what are some examples of paying it forward um man it's a lot of examples like like i offer services and i may be like yo i'll do four free readings next week or i may see somebody what's up barriana or i may um see somebody on instagram and or see somebody blanking out. <clears throat> I saw a friend of mine who's having a meltdown right on Facebook today and she needs my assistance. Yes, Mercury needs Jupiter's wisdom. But I don't want I ain't gonna, you know, it's my services. It's gonna take me two or three hours to help her, and that's what I that's how I make my living. But I'm going to give her a portion of my wealth by giving her some of my time to help her in this meltdown because it was looking crazy. Um, Mercury needs Jupiter's wisdom. Yes, it does, but remember, Jupiter in Virgo is expanding the criticalness. Virgo is critical, and Jupiter is, I will expand everything. So it's a lot going on while Jupiter is in Virgo for like a whole year. So that's why I wish I would... Ty Phoenix probably done shut her eyes, but that's been one of my big conversations at night. I've been talking about astrology shh, like all night. So I'm about to get some cereal. I'm about to lay it down. I got to get up in the morning and go see Max. I still got to make some phone calls. I have not read today. I've got two books that I want to read before I went to sleep, and I ain't read either one of them. So, And I ain't lit my candles. It's a lot of stuff that ain't got done yet that I feel got to get done. It's going to get done, too. So I love y'all. I wanted to come out, get that off of my chest. Um, some people, if you're on Periscope, oh, man, that's my G, Dr. G. I'm, I honor it, but we've been here many lifetimes. That's my karma. I'm going to get what I deserve out of him, and he's going to get what he deserve out of me. Peace to the God, Mr. Rice Worldwide. What's going on? Two more weeks, baby, or three more weeks, and you'll be down here for Morehouse's homecoming. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. He's one of my oracles, but he's a master though. He's 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 one of them. Like I really want you to meet him. You know what? I'm gonna put you in contact with the entire Toronto um, family that is in Tybro. Like you need to meet Misha. You need to meet T Trisha. You need to meet Noni. You really need to meet Trisha and no you, you need to meet all of them that's in Toronto, yo. I got you. I got you. I got you. Don't worry, Leslie. I'm going to put that down. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. Come on down here. Let's, let's see what's popping. Let's see what's popping, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I've I never been to a Morehouse homecoming, so we're going to see how it goes. Look, my battery is dying, too, so I got to go in here, get ready. I got to get up early in the morning. I cannot do 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning tonight. I got to eat, read, and then lay down and prepare my mind for tomorrow. All right, for whatever that experience is going to be. So I appreciate y'all. Thank you for sharing with your followers. Thank you for inviting people on YouTube. And, um, oh, if you want to start broadcasting on podcasts, a lot of y'all just watch, but y'all don't like have the recipe, shoot me that email. Shoot me that email, and I got something for you. I got something I sent out to a couple of my people today, something I got, you know, that's going to really help you out with this Periscope. Because it's a system, man. You just got to be in the right place. And then you'll learn, you know, some of that stuff. So it was something that I purchased that I'm sharing with people for free. So, Leslie, that's what I'm doing. Leslie, that thing, I, that, that email I sent out today. So if you want to get the email on, like, being a Periscope ninja, because you on Periscope, why not get some money for it? You feel me? So send me your email and be like, Coach, what was that that you were sending out today? And then I, I, I hit, I, now I'm stuttering. I hit you up with it. Or you can go on uh, 
you go on my Facebook page and you'll see some of y'all need to check y'all emails and you'll see all them comments in there. You can just drop your email right there or inbox me your email. I got you. All right. One love.